this video is the last in the series and it will show you how to complete the Staff Development Worksheet. Section 4 of the Staff Development Worksheet is a place for you to list your work as a faculty member on your campus. As you can see, there's a list of activities or projects that you may have participated in. This area is a bit of a kitchen sink and it gives you an opportunity to get credit in a lot of different areas. Make sure, once again, that you type in the number of hours that you'd like to get credit for. Below this, we've included an area for you to include activities that you have participated in that contribute to your ability to maintain your license or licensing for your department. Let's move on to Section 5. Section 5 is another area that allows you to get credit for work you do as a faculty member. Check out the list of activities. However, you're not limited to this list. Once again, don't forget to put the number of hours that you'd like to get credit for in the box provided. Let's move on to Section 6. Section 6 applies to any activities that you have participated in to increase your professional skills. This area includes any classes that you've taken. Remember that you can also get credit towards salary advancement for classes taken for grade and for units. If you'd like to get that type of credit for a class that you've taken or if you'd like to get pre-approval for a class, you still need to fill out the form that's called Request for Salary Advancement and that form is available on the Staff Development website. Alright, let's move on to Section 7. This section allows you to list any activities that you have undertaken that support diversity. Please describe the activities in the box provided and include the number of hours you'd like credit for in the hours box. Last but not least, let's take a look at Section 8. This section allows you to describe ways that you've worked to bring the college and the community closer together. Write a description of your activity in the box provided and once again, don't forget to include your hours. Okay, now let's click on the signature link. Typing your name in this box means that you agree that the hours and activities that you've described in the worksheet were actually completed by you during the semester. So when you're finished typing your name in this box, simply click the finish button. Even though you've completed the worksheet and signed it, you can still go back in and add things later on as long as you do it within the time parameters for that particular semester. If you have any questions, please contact Alexis Alexander either by email using this link here or by phone. And here's my phone number at the district.